G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Um, we are in Chakra Linux. Chakra, I think that's how it's pronounced. And um, couldn't actually record the install because um, I couldn't get OBS running. Got it installed but couldn't get it running and it doesn't have simple screen recorder in their repositories. Now uh, we're going to have a quick look online at something here. We're going to have a look at, um, going to go to Distro Watch first off. Do a search for Chakra. It's probably already in there. No, it's not. Okay, now Chakra Linux. is based on independent forked from Arch. Um, the origin is Germany, it's a 64-bit KDE Plasma desktop. So that's the desktop, so that's Chakra Linux. Now uh, we're going to be having a look at um, on the information here under applications we have a category for Chakra and we have a Chakra doc documentation unfortunately it doesn't go anywhere so we need to go to the chakra linux.org now I don't know if that was in that shortcut here or not uh, chakra web page so that's the one there so that takes you to there now if we go to community now the community has news, tutorials, help, uh, discussion and so forth in different languages. So the one we're going to look at is tutorials. Now there's a few um, categories under tutorials. Now the one I was interested in is if we have if we have a look at the add remove, which is the Octopi program for adding and removing software now um, if we have a look for a simple screen recorder you will see that it is not there so I was reading on so it's a distribution which it with an emphasis on KDE and QT technologies utilizing a unique half rolling release model that allows users to enjoy the latest versions of the Plasma desktop and their favorite applications on top of a periodically updated system call. Now, it looks to me, now they've got their forum here, so if we open that in a new link, this is their forum. So this is where the Ch Chakra community comes together to receive news from the team, um, help and, and otherwise. This is the home of the community. Now what we're going to look, look at here is the tutorials page, how to import a package from the Arch Linux, Linux repositories or the AUR to the CCR. Now let's click on that and let's have a look at that. Now, I found this interesting. Now, what, what you're actually doing here is you're actually, if you read down further on the page, um, it'll say here that you'll need to register an account first if you haven't already. Um, so you submit the file to the CCR. Now, they have their own repositories, their chakra repositories. So um, I was finding that there's not as much as I thought in here. So if we use simple screen recorder as an example, um, you need to search the Arch Linux repository. So if we open that, or the AUR, so we can open that as well. Now what you do here is you search within 
Um, let's have a look under the community of Arch Linux. Uh, we'll, we'll look for a simple screen recorder. And do a search for that. Now it says that you need to click on here. Um, uh, if it's in the Arch Linux repositories, you need to click on the source files. So pa under package actions, which it says, um, where does it say that? Search the Arch repositories or the AUR, open the page of the package you want to upload to the CCR. On the right side of the website, there is a box titled package actions. If you're in the AUR, you click on Download Snapshot. If you're in the Arch Repositories, click Source Files. So that's what you would do here because this is the Arch Repositories. You click on Source Files. And then under here, it's telling you um, you'll see a list of files to be included in the package, such as pkg build and sometimes other files such as dot patch and dot install dot desktop etc for each of the files listed right click on the plane as in plain text and then click save link as so you would do go to here I'm assuming right click that and save link as and so forth so this is what they're doing and then you've got to go to the console and CD to the directory you've saved those files and you've got to uh, edit the maintainer line at the beginning of the package build and so forth. I'm not quite sure what that means there. Haven't gone that far into it. But what that's basically doing is you're, you're actually packaging this package to be sent to to be submitted to the CCR so then they can put it in their repositories it's a little bit like the way Solus is going about doing their packaging as well so you've got to package because uh, um, Solus pretty much has their own uh, repositories as well so um, people have to submit a package same as here I think I'm very sure that that's along the similar lines of Solus anyway. So then it's got to be submitted. So it looks like um, they haven't got um, a lot of packages. Well, they, they might have a lot of packages, just the one I was looking for wasn't there. So I'm not really sure to what extent the packages have been uh, implemented within this Octopi and their, repos their own repositories, which is the CCR. Haven't really done many searches. I was just trying to do simple screen recorder. Had to settle with OBS. I got that installed. Um, so I suppose we could uh, do some random searches for packages. So Audacity is there. Um, sometimes I use Cherry Tree. See now, cherry tree is not in their repos either. That's very interesting. Um, no. Okay. So that's not there either. Um, I was looking for Firefox. Now they've got um, different language packs for Firefox. Um, Firefox KDE, which is a standalone web browser from Mozilla with OpenSUSE patch integrated better, better with KDE, 128 megabytes. And then you've got all these uh, language packs here. Um, so they haven't really got, I don't know how good that Firefox is, I haven't tried it. And if we're looking for Google Chrome, there's definitely no Google Chrome in there. I'm not sure about Chromium. So they've got Chromium in there, so that's okay. 
So there's a few things they need packaged. So they don't have an AUR and they, um, I read somewhere that installing things from the Arch Linux repository in the AUR is not a great idea. I don't remember where I seen that. Well, actually, I think um, when you when you run the live disk, it's it, there's got like a little screen, like a welcome screen, where you can install and look at their documentation and so forth. There's a few little links there. I think that might have been the one that said um, it's not a good idea to um, install anything from the AUR or the Arch Linux repositories as well. So, so that's package management, that's Octopi. Now they do have the KDE wallet in here which was bugging me a bit at the start, I just cancelled that out. Um, instant messaging, it's, an, it's nagging me about that configure now. Uh, online accounts. Uh, they've got a few online accounts there. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Uh, they've got clipboard content contents there. So they've got a few things running in here. And they have in their applications the Chakra shortcut there to bug tracking system, code, documentation which the link is broken on the website itself, uh, donations, chakra forums, chakra web page and the pay package change logs. So I don't know about the forums whether that works that link there. So definitely that takes you to the community okay fair enough. So we have development, graphics, document viewer, KDE image viewer, color paint, and carbon, never heard of that one before really. Internet, cloud storage manager, download manager, feed reader, instant messenger, contacts, conversation, KDE Instant Messenger Mail Client, which is Kmail, never never used it. Um, Cupzilla, which is their default web browser. That's the only web browser. Um, oh, I haven't heard of those ones before either. Multimedia, got the Clementine Music Player. K3B, good disc burner. Firewire Audio Mixer Media Player. Uh, what's that? Bomi? Bomi? I'm not quite sure what they haven't heard of that one before. VLC uh, asked me to install that with OBS, so I did. Uh, it was just an option, but it's probably may have had some dependencies there, I'm not sure. And KDN Live but, um, installed by default. Office, you've got. Um, Pretty much full office there. Spreadsheet, Word, Project Management, K Organizer. Well, it's not really a full office suite, is it? Just got the main ones there. You got Caligra. Oh, it's actually Caligra, that's what it is. Mail Client again. So that's office, settings, your system settings, which is your standard 
settings for the KDE desktop. I won't bother running through those. Um, system, you got the Yar Quake in here, which is a drop down terminal. I'm not quite sure. Uh, F12 to use it. Okay, so F12, there we go. Um, Info Center File Manager Dolphin Octopi Cache Cleaner Octopi Notifier Pac-Man Log Viewer Partition Editor the KDE one System Monitor Cases Guard USB Key Writer SUS Studio Image Writer and the Wallet Wallet Management Tool I don't like that thing it puts me off when that's in a in a KDE desktop I just not keen on that thing at all to be honest lost and found and I missed utilities so you have some utilities there so um, I'm really not sure whether it's a good idea to install anything from the AUR or the uh, Arch repositories, which means you'd go into the terminal and and type sudo uh, pacman dash capital S and the name of the package that would be from the AUR. Uh, sorry, from the Arch Linux repositories. So. Uh, they do say it's not recommended, so I won't bother with that. So some of the packaging, uh, especially if you want Firefox and so forth, based on Arch. Um, normally the beauty of Arch is you've got the AUR and the Arch repositories, which has got just about every known package to man. Um, so you would normally use that, whereas this one here, Chakra, it's um, forked the arch. So it's got its own package management, so they've got to build that up. Not something I would recommend to a new user anyway, I would say. Um, and we got... Yep, so there's um, Chakra on Distro Watch. Now we'll have a look at Configure Desktop. I don't know. Oh, they've got some um, wallpapers here. Just a few. Something wrong with that scrolling. It doesn't scroll real, real quick. Mm. So that's uh, Chakra on a quick look around. Um, it's KDE. Um, on a forked um, Arch distro um, with a few restrictions on packages. So if you're probably keen on um, submitting packages and that sort of thing and you're pretty keen to learn all that stuff, yes, I can see this is a probably good, good desktop for you. Um, otherwise, it's just another... KDE desktop on Arch, pretty much, with a few package restrictions. But I've had no issues with it so far, so it seems to be running okay, so there's no problems there. Haven't had any crashes or anything like that, so that's always a positive. Um, I just don't think it's something I would probably recommend, definitely not to a new user. Um, other keen people who want to do their own packages fine that would be okay for that but uh, yeah I like I like the easy access to Firefox Google Chrome and all that sort of stuff so um, those things I just want to be able to install and, and away I go so that was a look around Chakra Linux um, hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and thanks for watching